Hey there, Sam Spatero from the Relationship Series, Matters of the Heart and Mind. This is another episode of Let's Talk, and today's topic is going to be on what are you supposed to do when the kids leave? There's so many people that struggle with this, and you'd be surprised at how many relationships actually end after the kids actually move. And so I want to dedicate this video to a friend of mine who's recently, a uh, child just left for college, and actually they're seeing uh, family therapists because they're actually struggling with the identity of their relationship. And here's some things to look out for so you don't get there. And I'm also going to give you some tips and strategies of what you can do before uh, this ever happens and maybe after it happens so that you can rekindle that spark, that connection that once existed before children or maybe when you first got together. And so here's what happens. I was actually going to do a video uh, a little while ago and on the screen I was going to do a picture of a couple um, before they had children and then a picture of a couple after they had children and usually what happens is the couple is on the end and the kids are in the middle and see that should never happen so you should always have the hierarchy together and everything that becomes a complement of afterwards on the outside so rule number one is I mean what really happens here is you lose focus of what matters the most and that's the both of you you should always be each other's priority over everything else over your children over your brother your sister your mom your dad your friends everything that is the big golden rule and one of the biggest problems that happens you got to support each other in each other's missions each other's purposes what gives each other value um, you know maybe you used to really take care of yourself and you let yourself go you know, and maybe your children has become your center of your focus. And you see this all the time with um, men, especially feeling insignificant because, you know, there was once a day where, you know, women needed us for their survival. And, you know, now that we have children and everybody's so busy in this new Western life that, you know, you can really be really feel a real loss of like purpose and meaning and value in a relationship. And guys, for your women, like, think about it. They bear, bear these women. Sometimes they stay home with them. They're cooking, cleaning, uh, you know, constantly taking them to events. Or maybe you're both doing that. And you never spend time from one another. Guys, it's no surprise that this happens. So here's what I want to do. Before you get there, or if you are already there and having problems with this, um, there's actually a couple who got divorced after their kids all went to school because the identity of the relationship was focused around their children and it actually kind of kept them together because it never allowed them to really deal with one that loss of connection and two what underlying problems are really existing that they never did deal with in the first place so rule number one is make each other your center of focus and what do i mean by that sit down and have a cold hard conversation about what really sparked an interest in the both of you from the beginning what were the things that you used to do did you eat did you you know, spend time with your friends. Did you work out? Did you run? Did you compete in things? Did you play soccer or hockey? Did you have, I don't know, whatever your, did you pick up the guitar? Get back into that and support each other in your pursuit of what brings you value and meaning and just full sense of energy in life. And then the second thing you need to do, no matter what happens in your lives, even if your kids come back, you both are the center of focus one another everyone else is second best this is completely unorthodox on what we're taught but this is the turning point this is where you can avoid that loss of connection in your relationship down the road you always have to be each other's center of focus and always support each other if, if you're disciplining your children I can't see this countless times later on in, in, in life whether it's the husband or through the wife and someone's trying to discipline and the other partner doesn't support them and finally the other person just gives up and then later in life the kids turn out undisciplined they got bad behaviors and now the other person is turning and I'm the first support and they're like I surrender I gave up long long, long time ago so that's the second golden rule is support each other what really matters to the both of you create that blueprint and if you're having children and you're at home and you're having these problems make sure that your kids know that they can't use you guys as pawns it's the golden rule is whatever mom says dad supports whatever dad says mom supports that's it end of question and the third thing is 
maybe you guys both find a way to reconnect to something, a new purpose, something that you guys want to accomplish or do together. Maybe you start competing in marathons or maybe you guys decide to start going on trips. This person that I was talking to that's having a problem now that their child moved out, they haven't gone on a vacation together in 10 to 15 years. Like, come on, what is that? You can, you always have to make time for what matters the most. And you can't make excuses. Yeah, there's going to be bills and there's going to be, you know, children's education to pay. But you have one life to live. Never make excuses for that in which fulfills you. And rule number three is always remember you play a key role in how much happiness, love, joy, and fulfillment some other human being is going to experience in your life. And never forget that. So get out of your head, get into your heart, and create the most amazing relationship that you deserve. I'm going to end on that note. If you did like the video, hit the, the like button, the notification bell for future videos, and the subscribe button. If you have any comments or maybe you're struggling, leave us a question or comment down below. Maybe we'll make it a topic request in the future. And if you can, maybe share this with somebody that has children and could avoid some future problems and ultimately create um, the most amazing relationship for themselves and their kids because let's face it, our kids model what they see. Keep smiling and enjoy this beautiful day.